do let's take up queues and let's do uh, linked queues implementation of queues as a linked list now first of all uh, when we do this linked queues uh, the concept of linked queues uh, basically is uh, where we use uh, pointers so here we have already seen an, in our earlier sessions in queue that queue follows the concept of first in first out and uh, whenever there is an insertion in a queue we are going to do insertion in a queue today in a linked list right so insertion in a queue the insertion is always at the end right so basically here we are going to have two pointers one is the front pointer and one is the real pointer right and since insertion will always happen at the rear it's only the rear pointer which has to be changed during the insertion so we have a queue like this let's say this is uh, the front pointer here this is the rear pointer let's say and we make a new node this is the first node let's say right this node has got certain information and a pointer here so i'll uh, put this as the front pointer right and this is the uh, node which you have in the queue and this is the rear pointer right so basically if the address of the node is let's say 8976 right and the information which is there in the node is 109 now in this case since this is the only node in the list this address will be it's 8976 and here also <coughs> this is 8976 uh, sorry this is this one here it is 8976 right so basically what we are trying to say here is front is also pointing to this and rear is also pointing to this this is the only node right if you make one more node here and now this is the second node let's say insertion is always made at the end so obviously this node will come after this node so the list the link is now between this and this right and now see i i will remove this link now right the link is between this and this and here initially you had null now you will have the address of this node let's say the address of this node is 1089 right so here now you will have 1089 and this is the last node of the queue so rear will have the address of the last node of the list so this will be 1098 now 1089 right and this basically means there can be any information in this right and here this is the last node so this will be null right and rear is also pointing to this particular node now this is the list this is front this is rear the address of the front will not change when you do insertions once the first node is inserted the address of front will remain the same and whenever you insert nodes it's only the address of rear that will get changed so basically here the thing that you have to keep in mind is while doing insertion in a linked queue it's only this uh, rear pointer which has to be modified with each insertion right and the previous node this like in this case this was the previous node this previous node will get the address of the new node that was inserted in the list right so let's first look at the algorithm for this insertion and then we can drive the coding first of all the new node has to be created so new node creation is the same as we did in linked list stacks 
wherever you use the uh, link list form with the pointers it is the same right now new ptr info now suppose the structure has got uh, uh, info and then the pointers right uh, new ptr info is equal to item that is the item to be inserted right and then we write new ptr link link is uh, the next pointer either you write new ptr link or you write new ptr next whatever it is and this is null whenever you insert a new node in a list the next pointer of that node will always be null because that is going to be the last node in your list okay now first of all we check if rear is equal to null now this check that we are doing this is basically to find out whether the link queue is empty or if it has certain elements if rear is equal to null what does that mean look at this here we have rear pointing to this right so that means rear is pointing to a particular node initially when we inserted this first node then rear was pointing to this node right if rear is pointing to some node it means there is some node in the list but if rear is null that means rear is not pointing to anything if rear is not pointing to anything it means there is no node in the list there is no node in the queue right there is no node in the queue so the queue is empty so in case if the rear is equal to null then the node is then the queue is empty and the node that you are going to insert is the first node of the queue first uh, node of the queue right so here front will also point to the node being inserted the first node and rear will also point to the node being inserted that is the first node so the first and last node is the same here right okay so front and rear will point to the same then if rear is not equal to null in that case else rear link rear link is equal to new ptr and rear is equal to new ptr this is what we are doing that's it and then uh, this is the end of the algorithm actually now uh, here when we look at this one rear link is equal to new ptr thing the else part this is let's say front this is let's say rear and uh, here i have um, one node and this is the second node which is going to be inserted right so uh, let's say this uh, here as we have uh, this this was the address let's say and this is something like this this is the this node is already there in the list right and this rear also contains the same address so this is rear and this is front right and this is the node which you have so here you have the information and this is null so at uh, at this stage you have got only uh, one node in the queue and the link is like this right now you are making a new node here uh, let's put some values in this new node and then this new node it is created so it will be null here right now we have to insert this node rear is not equal to null as we have seen in this case rear is 1098 it's not equal to null so we come to this else part so else part what what do we do rear link is equal to new ptr what is rear in this case now see rear is equal to 1098 right 1098 1098 is this node right 1098 link 1098 link is equal to new ptr that's what we are saying this is what we are doing right so 1098 link is this part so what do we do we are basically changing this null 
and we are writing <clears throat> and we are writing this 9876 here right this is the link right so once we make this link what happens the link is formed from here to this place right and then we are saying rear is equal to new ptr what is new ptr new ptr is 9876 so when i say rear is equal to new ptr this address gets changed this becomes this becomes 9876 like this right so now see when this becomes 9876 so 9876 is this node right so now the link is I mean like rear is pointing to this node 9876 so now my queue is like this front and rear is there front is equal to 1098 rear is equal to 9876 right 1098 it's pointing here fine then this is pointing to the second node which is the last node of the list last, last node of the queue and the address of rear is here rear is pointing to the last node of the queue so this is how you do the insertion in a link queue right and uh, we will be writing the uh, coding of this insertion and link queue in our next session. You basically have to do insertion in a link queue, deletion from a linked queue and then uh, circular queues are there. In circular queues, it is only the array implementation, there is no uh, linked uh, link list implementation in that, right. So in our next session, we will do the coding for this insertion into a link queue and then we will take up deletion from a link queue so with that i end today's session bye